Hello and welcome. Now that I have an accelerator for the Amiga and have upgraded the Kickstart ROMs to 3.1, I can now install better software. I have got myself an 8GB compact flash card and OS 3.9, which I bought many years back. In this video, I go through the partitioning and formatting of an 8GB compact flash card, the PFS file system, and also the installation of OS 3.9. I was going to include the installation of Classic Workbench, however, I seem to have misplaced the footage. I will find it and upload that in a later video. So, let's begin. Okay, what we're going to do today is prep this uh, compact flashcard. And uh, it is an, it is an 8 gigabyte one, so it's the first time I'm doing large drives. The last time I was prepping a, a 2 gigabyte one, so that was pretty easy. Um, this should be easy also, except just with a little bit of a difference. So we go to command prompt and again disk part oh sorry <laughs> disk part i am not savvy with command line so excuse me if i do something wrong list disk you gotta make sure here that you select the correct disk because um you can erase your entire system disk or your external disk or whatever disk you have inside so we want the eight gigabyte one that is disk two you can see there um select disk two make sure disk two is selected and make sure it is the eight gigabyte one or whatever size you've put in and then we do clean so this part succeeded in cleaning the disk Fantastic. So, we come out of that. For larger hard drives, you're going to need PFS. All OFS, FFS, all these will not work. So, PFS3 AIO, you will find this Aminet, as you can see here. I go to the README, you can see that it, you know, it's, it'll support. It comes, okay, it comes with two PFS3 AIO handler and all this. So, in your setup drive, the, the drive you're using to set up the hard drive, the set up the, the compact flash card, sorry. Uh, mine in this case is in MADI setup drive. What I've done in the L directory, I've put, I've copied it, you know, PS, PFS3 AI handler. Made sure it's in there in the setup drive. Going to Win UAE. We go to uh, configurations. I've already set up a, um, you know, a a hard drive file or a hard drive folder um, you know as a hard drive setup I've installed it you know to make things easier put the tools together that I need so we load that and we have hard drives here what we need to do here is add the compact flash hard drive and here is access oh, it's coming up as a question mark there's a reason okay <laughs> I just realized what we need to do then is right click on this and run as administrator. Yes. And then again, configurations, hard drive setup. So we load this config and we have add hard drive. We want to add, yeah, they're all here now. So 7.5 gig, that's the one we're trying to do. So we add this, oh, hold on. Um, okay, we select this to ID auto, add hard drive, and that's it. We, we to start, it should load up the hard drive file, the um, the hard drive setup which I've made just for this, and it should load it with the comeback flash card. So here I have set up you know, my drive setup utilities, basically just hard drive toolbox and this master. So we're going to hard drive toolbox. We want to select, I don't think it's any of these. I think it's uh, SCSI. It's found my uh, compact flash card, which is, you know, 7.4 gig or it should be 8 gig, but okay. Just drives and install it. You want to install it? Yes. Okay. Let's install it. Okay, so what we do here is read configuration and then once we've done that, install. We'll permanently change, okay, we've done that. And what we need to do now is partition the drive. 
So it's already like split it into four. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna delete these and you know make them as how I want them. It's gonna be the boot partition, so I'm just gonna make it one gig. There can be some apps in there somewhere. The next partition is going to be my personal files, my music, my you know samples, everything like this. Um, any sort of work that I do. So I'm just gonna make this two gigs and the rest, new partition, is gonna be my WHD load games and any other extras or well, it's gonna be mostly WHD load games. <laughs> I'm sure that will fill in this space. What we do here is first of all boot partition, name it DH0. The last time I did this, I named the system drive DH0 and tried to name this DH0. It was a big conflict. It got confused. So I, I made sure to name the setup hard drive HD0 so that I can set this up as DH0. DH0 is like, you know, it's standard Amiga hard drive. Like DF0, DF1, DF2 is DH0, DH1, DH2. And we, this one is gonna be DH2. That's fantastic. So we go to the first one, we make it bootable. Great. And and what we need to do here is um, file system here. So we need to add update. So we have FFS here. We don't want this. So we delete this file system. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to add new file system. And if you remember earlier on, I put PFS3 AIO handler and the other one into the system folder, into the L directory. This is the, you know, automatically checking the L directory. So we have this, we, we select that, we load it, and we change the identifier number to 0x50465300. Okay, so we press enter and we then press OK. And then here we change the file system. So we have standard file system and we see PFS here. We change the file system block size to 512. And you make sure the max transfer is 0x0001FE00. You know, for this version of Toolbox. So we've done that. Okay. So basically you do the same thing with the second drives. Um, you change file system PFS3, make sure that's um, what you call it, max transfer is right and make sure the block size is 512. Let's do that for the third one too. Ideally I think what I did, I went a bit ahead of myself. I um, Before creating the other partitions I should have just like you know, change the settings to this when you create the others, I think it automatically does it. We save this. Okay. Yep. And we exit and I'll ask you to reboot. So we reboot. I guess it's tried to load it into <laughs> it's trying to boot me up back into thing. Into uh, so what we do is reset and we hold down the mouse buttons. Oh, too late. It's like a freaking game! This is too quick! That's it. Fantastic. Now we boot and HD0, the original one. So use boot. Okay, so this booted into here and as you can see, all three drives are there except they're not formatted. So what we need to do here is format disk and let's call this one MADISYS so I'm going to name this MADISYS and always do a quick format and ok to format this la, 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 format yes I really want to format it professional file system open source version ok you get that so that is formatted fantastic now you just do the same with the others. Um, format them. It's gonna be. It's just gonna be Maddie. It's just gonna be my stuff on it. Always do quick format. There's no point in doing any other format. So format, yes, uh, that's okay. And that's 
done. And this one, I'm just gonna do games. And we're done here. Now what, what I need to do is uh, install OS 3.9. We select the, um, the image, the OS 3.9 image. That should boot up also. And we press start. Start the emulation. Oh, hold on. Boot options. Then we go and do we boot as HD0 because I know it's gonna start trying to boot in Compact Flash. Okay, so I have to keep doing it twice for some reason because it boots twice. Anyway, so HD0, yes. Okay, boot. We wanted to boot up in the main HDF. Okay, that's this has come up and all three have come up you know my drives so now we have we install OS 3.9 fantastic on my drive I'm excited OS 3.9 installation okay so create emergency no no full install of our empty hard drive yes so proceed. Okay, yes, be careful. Proceed. Accept. Yay, I got a round of applause for freaking buying OS 3.9. <laughs> so you select where you want to install it, and of course, it's going to be Marisa's, the new one. So proceed. English. Okay, we post manual. And yes, okay, proceed. And more megabytes. I'm sure I can spare that. And yeah, it's installing. <laughs> okay. I remember all these pictures from when I was installing it back in the day. Okay, was wow, that was a quick installation. automatically install from the CF because it's like dying to automatically install from the CF card. Now, yep, it's in, it's come up on this. This is the, um, the combat flash card. Of course, the resolution is different because it doesn't have, you know, Picasso or anything like this and stuff. Now it's time to put this in my Amiga and see if it works, see if these drives function as, um, uh, what do you call it? you know, on, on a larger hard drive. So now it's the big test. <laughs> okay, so I have the 8 gigabyte here and I'm eager to put this in and try it out, see if it works. So, this is also a test, not just to see if the 8 gigabyte card works, but to see if this SanDisk Extreme 3 compact flash works. Because not every compact flash works on the Amiga. Because all we do now is uh, we replace the 2GB Lexar card, which works. Ooh, my beautiful accelerator card. <laughs> Stop stroking my car now. Let me put this extreme in this 8GB one. We put everything together again and, and see if it works. Okay, now to turn this darn thing on. And check it. Okay. It work. Ooh. Okay, restart. Ooh, it works. Yay. <laughs> okay, that works. I'm happy. That's kind of how I look. If you know the, the partition size is good, Mari says 932. You know, uh, megabytes free. That's cool. Um, games 4 gigabytes free. Wow, it's detecting it as 4. Um, and Muddy 1.9 gig free. This is perfect. And yes, everything is fine. Everything is working now. The time to have fun. And uh, it's like OS 3.9, as you can see. It's got limited colors and stuff. So let me just go and um, let me just change the resolution. I mean, I don't have a graphics card, unfortunately. I miss my B Vision graphics card. Let's just make it interlaced and just add a few more colors to it. I mean, I'm not gonna take. I'm gonna go two megabytes of chips. I'm not gonna go nuts. Uh, okay, let's just 64. <laughs> so, 
Okay. Oh, I didn't even dust it yet. I just freaking saved. Okay. That looks nice. I can live with that. Looks good, actually. <laughs> I can put my custom thingy on. Thanks. Mm -hmm. 